issue of hydrogen is very important for a future renewable energy world. Today, the hydrogen mainly comes from fossil fuels. Hydrogen is not used from electrolysis because it's too expensive as compared to the other sources. What we are offering here is a new approach where at the solar field, only oxygen will be produced and the hydrogen will be produced separately in dedicated location. This physical separation of the location where oxygen is made and where hydrogen is made is a game changer. So we take two separate cells. In one of them, there's the oxygen electrode, the other one, there's the hydrogen electrode. And we also use a battery electrode to communicate between the two cells. This battery electrode has the capability of absorb and dissolve ions. During hydrogen generation, ions is being formed and they are being absorbed on this battery electrode. And on the oxygen cell, these kind of ions are being released from this electrode and being used for the oxygen reaction. By doing that, we are able to completely separate the two cells and we can put them as far as we want. For example, you can have the solar field in the Sahara, while the hydrogen will be generated in a hydrogen fueling station in London. We actually did a preliminary cost comparison between the conventional photoelectric chemical design and R2 cell design and found that this new approach has the potential to decrease the expenses substantially and bring photoelectrochemical water splitting one step closer to actual large-scale utilization. The unique aspect in this research is finding the way to separate the electrochemical cell into two different cells that are separated over large distance one from the other which was done with the introduction of the auxiliary electrodes. The idea is to use solar energy and convert it into fuel, but in a clean way that basically starts with water. We use the solar energy to split water to create hydrogen, and then when we use the hydrogen, we get the water back. So it's a closed cycle that starts with water and ends in water, and in the middle, all the energy source is coming from the sun. So it's renewable and cyclable, and perhaps now it can become competitive as an alternative fuel to gasoline or natural gas or other sorts of fuels.